Well, Vincenzo. Hi. Hi. Listen, you have acted like it in movies, theater, all around the world. Which is the difference between acting in a movie, in theater, in stage, for you know, for you? I was born in a theater. I, I, I was in the Piccolo Teatro di Milano when I was young, the most important school of theater in Europe. And uh, I think theater is the point, uh, basically, the, the basic space where you can find uh, the inspirations, the, the, the right energy for to build, to paint the character in theater, in cinema, in television too. Uh, I love to change many different dimensions uh, because I, I, I am an artist, um, so curious and I love to understand how can to express my emotions and make the relation each other, me and the public in different way with a painting too, with a sculpture, with a creation and in different way the element basically is to put the heart on the hands and give to the public, to the public, to the people uh, that's that's important. That's a basically. So the, the free of expression that make you like a major actor, and we talk about about the Renaissance. You know, I mean this yeah. enlightening, the freedom of expression yeah. of you know the power to make and the go colors. all <laughs> yeah, colors, exactly, many the colors. colors, and you know the answer of the scientific and technology. So we have a Galileo and we have a Raffaello. So science and color and art. And you are a Renaissance man <laughs> because you are an artist, you are a painter, you are an actor. Thank you. So Thank what you your much. suggestion to the young generation right now for somebody that wanted to improve, you know, change their life, find the right path? Yes, thank you, Robert, because uh, I recognize in this uh, dimension uh, my life from a, when I was young, because I, I was born, I grew in Siena, <laughs> wonderful city. Uh, I, I, I must say thank you to my father, to my mother, to my family, because they moved from north of Italy, uh, Italy, every uh, city, Every place uh, is a um, wonderful, uh, full of opera d'arte, or full of the um, incredible, uh, incredible uh, opera. Uh, so in um, in Siena, I I start to my my relation with the art, painting art, because uh, I study in the Institute of Art of Duccio di Boninsegna uh, from the characters from the painting, from the Fondi Oro, from the uh, fantastic opera of Duce di Boninsegna, of the other very important uh, painter, I, I discovered uh, the, the root, my root, uh, the root of the, our culture. And you are a multi-awarded actor in Italy. You act also in India. Yeah. And you were awarded in at the, for a lot of the International Film Festival. Yeah. How is the difference between, uh, for example, the movie and media, American movie media and the Italian one, the culturally? They are culturally different? I grew uh, in my life uh, thinking uh, American cinema. That's my point of... Uh, Riferimento, punto di riferimento. Yeah. Like the American actor, actress, acting, yeah. the preparation, the method. I feel a particular, I'm, I feel very close to this kind of mode 
to do cinema, to do theater. Uh, I don't like uh, to do, but I love to be the character, totally. When I was uh, Caligola in the Fang Inquiry, we presented the movie in Hollywood, mm. uh, and uh, after the, the end of the projection, I received uh, congratulations for my performance in, uh, in that amazing, fantastic character, of, uh, the Caligula, the yeah. Emperor. Yeah. And I prepared many, uh, a long time, months, I study everything about the Roman Empire, but I love story, I love uh, archaeologic uh, searching, I love everything that's about the, the Roman Empire. And I, I, I work hard for to make perfectly this character. As you told me, I mean, you go around Italy. Your experience and your know how about culture in Italy is, is unbelievable. What do you suggest for American visitors and tourists when they come to Italy? What is like, you know, beside the big, you know, spot that everybody knows, what do you suggest, for example, to visit, to, you know, for their cultural motivation, to give them something like a, a different sensation? Uh, firstly, I think uh, if I have to suggest to the American people, I think uh, it's important to leave everything outside and uh, fly on the Art yeah. Eagle. <laughs> yeah, but I think that the American people are just prepared for do that because uh, yeah. sometimes I love to um, look to study, to, uh, I, I watch the people, the foreign people, no? the American uh, people uh, in, in Rome, yeah. and they, fanta they are fantastic, because the, they, the, their approach is uh, lovely, is clean, uh, is open mind, that's, uh, that's imp very important, without judgment. In Italy we say pregiudizio. Yeah. It's a very provincial, no? Okay. Uh, for us, it's very important as in the Renaissance time, I mean, the freedom of expression is very important. Yeah. So, uh, you act, for example, in India yeah. and in Italy. And the change of language, I mean, they speak Indian, Indiano, and, uh, and you speak Italian. And they speak English, and you speak English very well. And Italian, they like this change of uh, we can say word. Sometimes you say, "Voglio dire qualcosa in italiano." Great, uh, I love this changeable uh, approach with uh, foreign culture. Uh, for example, the first time when I for my first shot, my first uh, shooting day in uh, in Kerala, the yes. south of India. I was for the movie uh, La Strada dei Colori, it's uh, the color street uh, in Nerakasha. Mm -hmm. I'm the first hero, Europe, uh, European actor hero yes. in the Indian uh, movie. movie. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Uh, in 2010. And I saw the movies. <laughs> it's so funny. Lorenzo Fabri. Yeah, Lorenzo Fabri. Yes. And, uh, the and the story, colors that they have yeah. in India. Um, I felt myself like an ambassador of the Italian culture in, in India and I, I was impressed because uh, in different uh, periods, the dialogue um, where in some, 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 some time I acted in Italian, in, uh, sorry, in Indian, in Malayalam uh -huh. and I, I learned Malayalam language uh, with a secret, uh, with a symbol on my yeah. script. And in the same time, we play, we act in English and Indian language. So because uh, the audience is so vast, uh, many people need to understand in different language, in the meaning of the scenes. Uh, it's uh, in every experience you can find uh, a new, 
dimensions, new inspiration, new new colors. Uh, that's the I think the the best liquid for to be an ambassador of the Renaissance. Of course, you are. In, in, in Renaissance man. Yeah. In it's like the gli antichi viaggiatori, no? We say in Italian uh, the, the people who travel. So uh, in when I was on the fly and my first time in India when. Uh, the, the, the fly landed. landed. It's like an avatar. Yeah. New colors, new smell, new language, and the smile of the people. It's a, it's a new world. And I, I, I thought uh, how the Cristoforo Colombo, <laughs> the other, <laughs> Uh, the first uh, approach with the, the navigator, new culture, the, the navigator, navigator now with the over the ocean without knowing the where they go. That's the, the the discovery. The discovery of new things. Every day we can discover some things. That's it's very very important. And you build your culture, your personal yeah. culture, discovering every day something new. The stupor, the, no? yeah. Latino stupor. Stupor. Like the, yeah. the Roman uh, people uh, say, lo stupore del fanciullo, mm. the stupor of the baby. Like that, because life is an incredible opera, of opera, lyric opera, of theater opera, also like a movie. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to watch uh, in the human creation. Oh, beautiful. So nice to talk with you. Robert, Vincenzo. thank you so much. It's always and... so, you know, intensive and uh, absolutely good.